after that when sperm is capacitated okay we make a sperm at two stages right first it is very very sad sperm because it is not capacitated is that right uh, then it is capacitated and it become a somewhat happy sperm is that right here is the ovum waiting okay I should make a little bit bigger ovum this is and it has a, a special glycoprotein covering and this glycoprotein covering is called zona pellucida glycoprotein covering and then around it it is having its friends called corona radiata is that right and corona radiata cells they are held, held together by some connective tissue which is having hyaluronic acid this is hyaluronic acid which is helping them to be held together everything there right so ovum is here and sperm is there right sperm is bigger or ovum is bigger ovum is bigger it has a lot of uh, cytoplasm in which it has even lot of uh, nutritional substances right now once it is capacitated its glycoprotein and seminal plasma proteins are removed it will pass easily through that right but as soon as it touches the zona pellucida it undergoes another reaction as soon as it touches the yeah, zona pellucida it undergoes another reaction let me show that reaction this is a sperm middle piece tail this is the uh, membrane of the sperm is that right this is its nucleus which has 23 chromosomes isn't it and haploid number 1n number and this is the acrosomal now as soon as sperm touches the zona pellucida right zona pellucida induces a reaction into this that reaction is called acrosome reaction acrosome mean acral end I mean the this is the end of the sperm no? head of the end now during this process acrosomal end what really happens that inner membrane and this outer membrane they fuse at multiple point they undergo fusion at multiple points they fuse and when they fuse at multiple point how it will look both membranes are fused here and wherever they fuse for example this point and this point fuse when they fuse with each other they melt away and apertures are produced holes are produced through which now it is doing its ultimate function oh proud of himself right what it is doing it start releasing enzymes so that it can really digest away the what zona pellucida female likes to put the barriers yeah that is true so it has done its head washing and now it is releasing some substance as soon as it touches the zona pellucida and when this is released what is this substance these are different types of enzymes to digest away the zona pellucida these enzymes are acrosin yes acrosin or some trypsin like substance trypsin like substance or hyaluronidase is an enzyme hyaluronidase all these enzymes work together and help in digestion of what zona pellucida <coughs> is that right so actually during this process this put stupid sperm will lose its head surface you know now it want to fuse with the ovum but it, it its skull has been lost some part of the skull is that right so what is really there that 
because this part gradually fuses a multiple fusions form and then pores form and then it is so this is the price you pay not only you have to get your head washed but you have to get a piece of a head lost <laughs> is that right why are you feel so happy with I this have no idea. Really? but this is what is really happening at cellular level right maybe no sure this happens like this right now listen now the sperm which reach first of um, now multiple sperm will touch here I told you out of millions hundreds will reach here and multiple may be trying to go through acrosome reaction and trying to enter as soon as let's suppose there's one sperm here there's another sperm which is here another sperm which is embedded here but let's suppose this our friend the lucky guy it is the first one to touch the membrane of what ovum is that right of course uh, the fusion between between the oocyte membrane and the sperm cell membrane right remember this is not the cell membrane or plasma membrane of the sperm from its head which fuses no head membrane has been lost the real and actual fusion is between the posterior region of the sperm because it has lost its part of the head and the membrane of the ovum is that right so you don't tell anyone that these membranes are really this is the ovum so this part of the membrane does not fuse with the ovum it is this part of the membrane and this part of the membrane because this part of the membrane is lost in acrosomal acrosome reaction is that right now as soon as okay let me make the sperm now it is successful it should be made with more respect right and suppose this is the what is this nucleus of the sperm having how many chromosomes 23 chromosomes right rather we should say 22 plus x or 22 plus y depending upon right now anyway 23 chromosomes and this is the substance of the what sperm and blue is the membrane cell membrane of the sperm am i right now the ultimate action will come as soon as listen multiple real things will start happening now conditioning has been done capacitation has been done acrosomal reaction has been done i have told you that acrosomal reaction is induced by zona acrosomal reaction occur in the head of sperm but it is stimulated by zona which is the part covering of the ovum is that right now again if we talk about phases of fertilization one phase was it had to pass through corna radiata layer only capacitated sperm pass through that am i clear second was the penetration of zona pellucida we have talked about the penetration of zona pellucida is by acrosome reaction and this reaction occurs specially there are special zona pellucida protein protein number three we just call it zp3 this zp3 is specially stimulated as soon as this stretches the zona pellucida protein number three it undergoes acrosomal reaction is that right zp3 has multiple function zp3 also help the sperm to yes bind with the zona pellucida and also help the sperm to undergo acrosome reaction is that right now one thing is there as soon as this membrane sperm membrane will